Ahí está. Ok. There we go. Ok. Bueno, guys. Eh, vamos a continuar entonces. Perdón por el problema. Eh, creo que Sullivan me estaba diciendo yes. eh, lo de acá. Yes. Dan wishes he could fit into the his old jeans. Mm -hmm. So Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Sullivan. That is correct. Entonces aquí está, ¿verdad? Dan wishes he could... No, perdón, el de abajo. Este de acá. Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Just like that. Entonces acá creo que eh, estoy aquí... Bueno, estos eran en base al audio, ¿verdad? Esto lo escuchamos en el video de la clase pasada. Eh, entonces, eh, what kind of wishes does Terry have? What kind of wishes does he have? Option two, teacher. Mm -hmm. And what is option two, Francisco? He wishes, he wishes he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. Very good. Thank you. That is correct. Okay, and then number two. Vamos a ver alguien más, además de Francisco. What kind of wishes does Brian have? It is about the last video we saw. Mm -hmm. He wish he worked somewhere else and lived somewhere more exciting. Very good. Thank you, Sullivan. That is correct. Sí, eh, uno de ellos quisiera que tener su propio apartamento, okay? Tener su propio apartamento y que la vida no fuera tan difícil. Y por el otro lado tenemos a Brian, que él desearía eh, trabajar en otro lugar y vivir en un lugar más emocionante, ¿ok? Acá es emocionante, exciting, emocionante. Entonces, eso sería, guys. Ahí está. Por si no lo habían hecho, para los que no lo habían hecho, acá están las respuestas. Ahí tendríamos todos los puntos correctos, ¿verdad? Eso sería para esta parte. Muy bien. Excelente trabajo, guys. Vamos con la siguiente parte. Vamos a avanzar. Okay, so then we have this uh, section. This is the first part of the midterm exam, okay? And the first part, it is about listening, okay? It says, listen to the conversations, check the correct answers, okay? We have four questions here. So we need to listen to the conversation first. So then we can choose the right option. Vamos a escuchar la conversación, guys. Y vamos a ver cuáles son las respuestas correctas. Vamos a ver aquí. Sorry, teacher. We couldn't hear you. You are in mute. Okay, perdón, 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 guys. Eh... Se me había olvidado, como tuve que volver a entrar, parece que eh, tengo que volver a compartir todo, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a compartir. Right. Gracias right. por... Thank you, Sullivan, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Ok, there we go. We are going to uh, play the conversation from the beginning again, ok? So, here we go. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot. And I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything. But now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. 
I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Okay. Bueno, guys, eh, tenemos conversaciones bien interesantes, la verdad. Este, eh, quisiera que hagamos algo para que sea como un reto para nosotros, ¿verdad? Probablemente ustedes ya hicieron esta parte, así que eh, está fácil para ustedes seleccionar la opción correcta, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pero hay más detalles en las conversaciones, aparte de los que dice acá. Entonces, como siempre, quiero que ustedes lo escuchen, eh, que lo anoten y me digan eh, qué es lo que escuchan allí. Pero quiero que sean lo más específicos que puedan. ¿Ok? Eh, por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, de, de una eh, conversación podemos decir, uh, So when I was a kid, I was really into books. ¿Ok? Uh, I used to read comic books a lot. And th that kind of things. ¿Ok? So I want you to pay as much attention as you can so you can tell me that kind of things but really specific, okay? Eso es lo que quiero, que seamos bien específicos. Que tratemos de decirlo lo más aproximado a lo que ellos dicen en la conversación, okay? Así que vamos a escucharlo otra vez. Traten de memorizar y tomar notas para que me lo puedan decir, okay? So here we go again, guys. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No. I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect. Okay. Eh, ¿qué? Vamos a ver qué pasó acá. Perdón, guys. Se quedó como trabado aquí. Vamos a ver. Vamos, lo vamos a recargar, guys. No sé qué pasó, pero se quedó, se detuvo. Vamos a verlo otra vez. Eh, no sé qué pasa ahora con mi sistema. I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything. But now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. 
And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Mm -mm. Okay. Bueno, guys, este, ya lo escuchamos por segunda vez. Tenemos eh, cuatro conversaciones aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, así que, ¿qué me pueden decir de la primera? Vamos a ver. Tratemos de ser específicos acerca de lo que dijeron. Let's try to be specific, guys. So, what about the first conversation, guys? Say, I am your new neighbor. Mm -hmm. I'm your new neighbor, okay? Very good. Very good, Fernando. Yes, that's what he said. I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan, he said. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, Francisco, veamos. Yes, teacher. Tom, Tom explain uh, at the at beer. Uh, so he he was he was born in mm -hmm. he was born in, in Japan. But Very good. He mm -hmm. he grew up in San Francisco, but Very actually good. he mm -hmm. he was living in San Diego. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Very good, Francisco. That is correct. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy buen trabajo, Francisco. Sí, correcto. Entonces dice, eh, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. And he's not from San Diego. He is from San Francisco, okay? So he just moved to a new city. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Si se fijan acá, este, es una conversación que tiene incluido bastante de lo que nosotros hemos estado aprendiendo, okay? acerca de el pasado, o sea, me acabo de mudar al edificio, eh, yo nací, ok, yo, I was born, and I grew up, ok, yo crecí en San Francisco, y así, tenemos todas esas expresiones acá, así que eso es la parte clave, que lo podamos manejar de esa forma. Ok, uh, vamos a ver, aparte de Francisco, ¿quién más? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. she asked about the language. Mm -hmm. If he talks Japanese, and she and he did, and he didn't, and he said that he didn't speak Japanese. Very good. That is correct, Freddy. And why did he say that he can't speak Japanese? Because he was a children when the, her parents moved to USA from, from San Diego. He was a child. She was a children or a child? Mm -hmm. He was only a baby, he said. I was only a baby when yes. my family left Japan. Yes. Okay. Muy bien, Freddy. Muy bien. Excelente trabajo también. Perfecto. Esa es la parte del final. Dice, ella le pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh, so, do you speak Japanese? And he says, unfortunately, no. I was only a baby when my family left Japan. Okay. Desafortunadamente, no. Eh, solamente era un bebé cuando... Mi familia dejó Japón, ¿ok? Entonces él nunca aprendió japonés porque se mudó desde pequeñito. Ok, muy bien. Esa era la conversación número uno. Vamos con la número dos y después la número tres. Vamos a ver. La número dos es acerca de used to, ¿ok? I used to do this and I didn't used to. And now I used to do this. So what can you tell me, guys, about the second conversation?
teacher. <coughs> Dígame. She, she used to read comic books. She used to read comic books a lot. Yes. She used yes, to read comic books a lot. She said. She said that, yes. right? Uh, the... When when she she was shy, mm -hmm. she she used to collect. Uh, she didn't collect. She she used to didn't collect uh, anything. But mm -hmm. uh, but after uh, she she used to collect. Um, no recuerdo qué fue lo que. No. <laughs> Uh, yes. Black, black, no sé qué, no, no recuerdo qué fue lo que dijo. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien, muchas gracias, Francisco, es correcto. Thank you. Photograph, yes, uh, photograph, photograph uh, black, and black and white. Black and white photographs. All right. Photograph. Very black good. and <laughs> white photograph, yes. Very good, that yes. is correct. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez, and thank you, thank you Freddy. So, yes, uh, she said that she didn't use to collect anything, but now he collects all black and white photographs. Okay, all black and white. Muy bien, perfecto. Esa estaba un poco más corta, ¿verdad? Solamente hablaba acerca de eso. Eh, como dijo Francisco, okay. Recordemos, uh, she said she didn't used to collect anything, okay? Didn't use. Así. No use uh, didn't, sino que es uh, de la otra forma, ¿verdad? She didn't used to collect anything. But now uh, she collects all black and white photographs. Ok, muy bien. Ese era el número dos. Entonces acá, bueno, si nos pasamos por acá. Como les digo, esto estaba bien fácil, ¿verdad? Si eran solamente de elegir uno acá. Uh, Tom grew up in San Francisco, ¿verdad? San Francisco. Then Carol used to. ¿Cuál es la correcta acá? Read comic, books. Or photos. read comic books. Comic books. Read comic books. Yes, that is correct. Because now uh, she is collecting all photos. Okay, but that is now. But she didn't used to do that. But she used to read comic books. So yes, that is correct. Thank you, guys. Vamos. Okay, vamos por el número tres. Vamos a ver qué pasó con la número tres. There is enough parkings mm -hmm. in downtown. There is or there isn't? Isn't, sorry, isn't. Mm -hmm. There isn't enough parking downtown. ¿Verdad? Muy bien. Very good. Thank you, Sullivan. That is correct. There isn't enough parking downtown. We are talking uh, about... Uh, about... Uh, problems of, the, of traffic in the city mm -hmm. and for example uh, there isn't enough parking downtown a lot of traffic uh, uh, mm -hmm. too much traffic too much traffic and, okay yes uh, there there isn't isn't enough uh, there isn't enough buses. Mm -hmm. There isn't. Okay. Bueno, en este caso sería eh, there aren't enough buses. Okay. Porque si there son. There aren't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Plural. Es plural. Es plural, correcto. Yes. So there aren't enough buses. Okay. Muy bien. Muy bien, Francisco. Yes. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Very good. So yes, uh, the conversation number three it is about a city council meeting on transportation. Okay. So she said that she had an interesting evening last night. And she said that several people talk about traffic. And just like Francisco and Sullivan said, uh, they talk that there is too much traffic, that there aren't, uh, or they don't have uh, enough buses, and that there isn't enough parking downtown, okay? 
Muy bien, guys. Muy bien. Recordemos esa parte, ¿verdad? Si vamos a hablar de algo que se puede contar, utilizamos a too much. Eh, y si es algo que podemos contar, utilizamos too many o eh, en ese caso utilizamos there are o there aren't. Si estamos hablando de algo que podemos contar. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Entonces vamos a ver acá. Dice, according to Helen, there isn't enough parking downtown, ¿verdad? Esa sería la respuesta correcta. Eso es lo que ella dijo. Yes, yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Okay, guys, and then we have a uh, number four. What happened in conversation four, guys? What can you tell me about conversation number four? What were they saying about? What were they talking about in conversation four? Vamos a ver, alguien más aparte de Francisco y Sullivan, quizás. Veamos a los demás. Right. The, the guy teacher is giving an advice about mm -hmm. the carpool. Carpool. Mm -hmm. the carpool is it's like a, like a kind of new transportation, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very good, yes. So what is a carpool, guys? Basically a park pool, uh, perdón, <laughs> perdón, a carpool is when you guys share a car, okay, with other people. Let's say that, uh, for example, you travel with a friend and that friend also drives other people, like other friends, and then many people travel in the same car so you don't have to spend too much money on gas, for example or on transportation. So that is what a carpool is, okay? Okay, entonces carpool es un término, guys, que se utiliza para decir eso, que varias personas comparten un vehículo. Entonces, eh, es una modalidad. Para ahorrar. Ella, para ahorrar, <risa> correcto, para ahorrar. Entonces, varias personas viajan sí. en el mismo carro. Así que muy bien, Freddy. Very good, thank you. So... Yep, so basically that's what the conversation for is about, okay? Dice, Anna can join a carpool by... ¿Qué es lo que tiene que hacer Anna para unirse a un carpool? Calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. Yeah. Calling a phone number. Very good, Mr. Ramirez. That is correct. Calling a phone number. By calling a phone number. Entonces, ahí está, ¿verdad? Está... Fácil. Por si no lo habían hecho, para los que no lo habían hecho, aquí están las respuestas, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, vamos a avanzar. Eh, acá esto es parte de lo que hemos visto también. Eh, es que todo lo que estamos viendo acá es eh, lo que hemos estudiado anteriormente. Eh, acá la respuesta es, I was born in Mexico City. ¿Ok? Y luego tenemos una pregunta que comienza con where, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cómo sería acá la, la opción correcta? Where were you born? Where you born? Okay. Where were you born? Very good. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico City. Very good. Okay, then we have a uh, number two. It says complete the conversation, use the past tense, and make sure not to use capital, not to use or use capital letters when necessary. Okay. So it's the same thing, guys. We have, no, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. So we have a question here that says, did space in high school? Okay, vamos a ver, Carmen. Did, vamos a ver, Carmen, ¿cómo sería? He studied French. The, can you please tell me uh, all of it, like this one and uh, the question, and then also the answer? Did he study French in? Okay, entonces, he study. Uh huh. French. French. Okay, and then. Mm, hasta ahí quizás porque luego dice. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, ya aquí no le vamos a poner nada. Solo quiero que usted me diga la pregunta y después la respuesta. 
Okay. Did he study fetch in high school? Mm -hmm. okay. Que me quedo sin internet. Um, no. He didn't okay. study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Okay, very good. Thank you. That is correct. So then we have number three. Uh, the same thing, okay? When space from college, and then the answer says they graduated from college in 2010. They okay vamos a ver qué piensan los demás no hay problema Carmen ahorita lo vamos a hacer thank no se preocupe yo uh, thank you a ver sí dígame when did when did they graduate from college when did they graduate okay Graduate from college. Okay, very it's a good. Question. It's a question, yes. Uh, entonces the acá... Answer... Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. They graduate from college in 2010. 2010. Very good, yes. So when did they graduate from college? Uh... They graduated from college in 2010. Okay. Entonces acá... Eh, si usted se fija, Carmen, acá teníamos una pregunta, ¿verdad? Es una pregunta en el pasado, porque la respuesta también está en el pasado. Entonces, ¿cómo hacíamos nosotros las preguntas? Utilizábamos el auxiliar did, luego el sujeto y luego el verbo en la forma normal, ¿verdad? Acá no le cambiábamos nada. Aquí sí está en el pasado. Aquí sí, sí pero acá no. Entonces, la pronunciación también cambia, guys. Entonces sería, when did they graduate? From college. Graduate. Graduate. They graduated from college Graduate. in 2010. Entonces ahí cambia un poquito, ¿verdad? Se lo vamos a enviar. Y tendría que estar bien. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Ahí está, guys. Bueno, entonces esta sería esta parte. Ya, eh, por ejemplo, si Carmen, si usted ya lo había enviado y esa parte no le salía bien, lo puede sí, volver no a hacer. Salido. Sí, ya lo, ya lo okay. ok, perfecto, perfecto. Thank you. Okay, then we have this part. This is about vocabulary. So it says, choose the best word to complete the sentences. Okay, we have every summer, Sam used to go to... Y aquí tenemos que colocar la palabra correcta. ¿Cuál es? Vamos a ver todos. It's obvious, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it's bitch. It's pretty obvious, right? It's pretty obvious mm -hmm. because uh, we say paint or soccer ball. It doesn't make any sense. So to no. the beach with his friends. Okay, so then we have number two. It says, I really enjoyed playing. And then we have three options here. Yes. Bicycle. Yes. 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 Oh, bicycle is riding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes. Basicamente, yes. guys, aquí, esto es cuestión de vocabulario, ¿verdad? Porque, por ejemplo, montar una bicicleta es otro verbo, ¿ok? No es jugar. Es riding. Es mm -hmm. riding, right. Like when you ride riding a the bicycle. bicycle. Correct. That is correct, guys. Very good. You got it. So, I really enjoyed playing chess when I was a teenager. Ok, then we have it had some unusual pets, including a rabbit and... Snake. A snake. Ok, snake. very good. Snake. Sí, por aquí estamos hablando de mascotas, ¿verdad? Entonces, un conejo y una eh, serpiente. Serpiente. Mm. serpiente, muy bien. Okay. Entonces, ahí very está. Very unusual pet. Very unusual, yes. Okay. I don't think that many people have that kind of pets. Not many people. Vamos a ver, vamos a continuar, guys. Eh, vamos por la mitad ya. Esta parte es acerca de used to. Eh, por ejemplo, acá tenemos eh, esta parte en blanco y es una pregunta, ¿ok? Siempre tenemos esta pista aquí, eh, este question mark at the end. So, we know that this is going to be a question, right? So, and it is using used to, ¿ok? So, did you used to play basketball when you were in high school? 
Ok, so, entonces tenemos acá, primero, eh, play soccer when you were a child. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo sería? Did you used to? Did you used to? The did same, you did you used to? Ok, very good. Did you used to play soccer when you were a child? Very good, thank you, Hilbert. That is correct. And then he says, yes, I... I used to. Play used soccer to. every day. I used to. ¿Cómo sería acá? ¿Así? Used, used in past. Play. Used in past. Used, used to. Falta la D. Used to in the past. Ok, very good. Very good, guys. Falta Thank de... you. Okay. Ahí está. Muy bien. Quería probarlos. ¿Qué es lo que estaba haciendo? Probándolos. <risa> ok. Entonces, sí. Acá es en pasado, ¿verdad? Acá porque estamos usando did, por esa razón did. lo ponemos así. Entonces, acá, acá no, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es en pasado. I used to play soccer every day after school. Okay, good. And then, what things? Y aquí tenemos eh, collect. Okay, el verbo es collect. Did, you, did, did you, you used to collect? To collect? Did you used to collect? To collect. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí está el, el signo de interrogación. Entonces, ya no lo ponemos. Y por último tenemos oh. I never collected. Collect. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Presente o en pasado? A ver. Past. 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 In the past. In the past. Number okay. three. Number three. Okay, option collect number three. To collect. Okay, very good. I never collected anything when I was a kid, but now I collect postcards. Okay. Ahí está. Perfecto, guys. 10 de 10. 10 de 10, guys. Muy bien. Eh, y pues por último teníamos este de el orden. Básicamente acá lo que tienen que hacer ustedes es ordenar estas palabras. ¿ok? Tenemos varias palabras que dice fewer, should, noise, there, less, be, cars, and. Entonces lo vamos a ordenar y debería decir algo como uh, there, there should, should be fewer cars and less noise. Uh, Very good. Julio, that is correct. Sure. Number three. Number three. Number three. It should be fewer cars and less noise. Okay. Vamos a ver, Number ¿qué tal three. Hilbert? ¿Cómo sería Hilbert? Number three. It should be fewer cars and less noise. Mm -hmm. There should be fewer cars and less, and less noise. noise. Mm -hmm. There should be fewer. Okay, fewer. Ahí está. Muy bien. Esa sería la respuesta correcta. Y por último tenemos acá, eh, dice, instruction on, instructions on scrambled the sentences, then choose the best way to write the sentence. Ok, eh, acá eh, lo teníamos que ordenar, aquí teníamos las opciones. Aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es escribir una oración en base a estas palabras que están acá. Ok. Should we have, we should have more bicycle should... lanes? Perdón, como dijo, vamos a ver, Julio y después Hilbert. Uh, we should have more bicycle lanes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And then Hilbert. Should we have uh, Should we have uh, more lanes bicycle? Mm -hmm. Bueno, acá no, si usted dice should we Sería como una pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero acá no tenemos ah, ninguna cierto. indicación. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Perdón, si sí, no había visto. Vi que sí, me pregunta. Uh -huh. So, we should. We should have. Uh -huh. We Very should good. have more have bicycle lanes. More bicycle lanes. Bicycle lanes. Ok, very good. Ok, ahí está. Entonces, eso sería. Y acá el último... Um, yo se lo voy a poner. Uh, there is uh, too there much is pollution. pollution. Hey. Eh, vamos a ver. Creo que... No, no. no there is... Air, ah, no, air, air pollution. Air, air, pollution. Air, pollution. air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution right. is too much. There is too much air pollution. Ah, sí, ahí está. Perdón, guys. Ahí está. Tienen razón. There is too much. There is too much. Too much. Air, Air pollution. Air pollution. Ahí está. Bueno, pongámosle el punto también, por si acaso, porque a veces por un punto puede que le salga malo, ¿verdad? 
Entonces vamos a ver. Eh, Tal vez así. Eh, veamos. Que quizás me equivoqué en una parte yo. There is too much. You, Air, teacher, culpa, la N me hizo falta. Ahí está. Oh, you don't have to, Ahí está. To write there. Oh, I see. So you don't have to do that. Okay, well, anyways, uh, you can put it or you can not do it and that's fine. So, bueno, guys, hasta aquí nos vamos a quedar. Prácticamente lo resolvimos todo, ¿verdad? Solamente nos hicieron falta dos partes acá. Acerca de eh, preguntas indirectas y nos hizo falta la parte de eh, lectura. Pero eh, bueno, ya solamente sería eso. Si acaso no lo han hecho, pues solamente sería esa parte nada más. Así que eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta ahora. Algo más, alguna duda, guys, antes de que nos marchemos. No questions. No, no, no question. question. Okay. Well, guys, uh, thank no you question, so much for yeah. coming. One more time. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you guys for coming. And well, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see good you night, back on night. Monday, guys. Thank you. See you Monday. Happy weekend. Happy you weekend. Too. Happy weekend, guys. Thank bye you. Bye. Teacher. See you next week. See you next week.